once again everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time joining me today hi my name is hannah i make a lot of videos here on youtube usually they're story times that's what people seem to care about y'all don't really care about when i do anything else it's like thank you next give me a story time that i actually care about and i'm gonna go ahead and say it i'm gonna be filming a lot of videos today in this spyro the dragon t-shirt okay usually if i film multiple videos in a day i'll change outfits so that it's not so obvious that i film them all at the same time but i have a cake face today because it's new year's eve and i do not want to risk ruining it ruining it because I'm going to a party tonight. Um, yes, I'm wearing a Spyro t-shirt with this extra, just completely extra face of makeup. That's just how I roll extra makeup, extra jewelry, casual outfit. It doesn't make sense, but that's how I do things. So, um, I just wanted to get that out of the way. I also want to get it out of the way. I do not know when this video is going to be posted. I don't really know if I have the guts to post it yet because it is about a co-worker at my current job. Um, but I'm planning on quitting this job because of all of the drama that's just so unnecessary at the place that I work. My dog is drinking water. Like I said, I'm planning on quitting this job pretty soon because of all of the drama and because of my boss and stuff like that. It's just really stupid. Like, it's dumb. And I hate it because I love this job. Like, I love the actual job itself. Selling people jewelry is amazing. I love it. I have no complaints. Like, the next job that I have, I want to work in a jewelry store again. I want to do something with jewelry for, like, forever because it's so awesome it's so fun and it's just i love it okay i love jewelry it's kind of my thing makeup and jewelry and tattoos those are like my things so without further ado this has been a two minute intro i cannot believe myself let's just get into this video really really hope that i have the guts to post this soon because i really want y'all to hear this stupid story okay so this story actually starts a couple of days before the confrontation actually happened or actually one day before the confrontation actually happened okay so let me just give you kind of a little backstory about our store if you've never seen any of my videos or if i've never explained this before i don't know so let's just get into it um our store has display windows and usually um those are the first things that we put the jewelry out and then we pick them back up if you don't know when you work in a jewelry store you have to put out all the jewelry in the morning and pick it up in the afternoon for insurance purposes it's just the way it works i don't think they'll give you insurance on all of the jewelry if you don't pick it up and put it in a safe at night so usually the windows are the things that we do first we put the jewelry back into the displays in the windows first thing in the morning and it's the first thing that we take out in the afternoon i'm sorry if my hair has been stupid today me and my coworkers generally like to pick up the windows about 30 minutes before the store is going to close because after we do the windows then we can start picking up all the rest of the jewelry and we can actually leave at the time that we're supposed to okay so if our store this is not our actual hours but if our store was going to close at 7 p.m we would start picking up our jewelry at 6.30. We would get the windows at 6.30, and then we would put away the rest of the jewelry for the remainder of the time, okay? That's just like if we open up at, let's just pick a random time. If we open up at 8 a.m., we would have to be there at 7.30 or 7.15 in order to get the jewelry out in time. So that's just the way that we operate. And everybody, a different person does it every day, like, whoever wants to you know it's not like oh you get the windows and you put out the windows every single day it's just like whoever wants to do it and a lot of the time we'll ask each other hey will you do the windows and i'm going to go ahead and start on this other stuff especially if we're short-handed like the day that i'm going to talk about so you get the picture about picking up windows and putting out windows it's like the first thing that we do to get ready to open or to get ready to close. It's just the first step that we take and that's just the way that we do it at our store. So, my coworker and I, okay, let me just, it was the day after Christmas, 
okay? It was the day after Christmas and we were supposed to have four people working and one of my coworkers was sick so she couldn't come in. So it was just three of us. We were shorthanded and when you're shorthanded, even if you're not busy, it can affect the time that you have to put things away and, t and put things out because there's so many cases of jewelry. Pretty much everybody has an assigned case that they pick up and put out in the morning and afternoon. So we were gonna start picking up a little bit early. So me and my coworker, let's call this coworker Ashley, okay? Me and Ashley were working on one of the jewelry cases because we were trying to fill it out and make it look nicer because we sold so much during Christmas. We were trying to rearrange things to make it look more full until we could get a new shipment of jewelry to go in it, okay? So me and Ashley were working on this case. Our other coworker, Jennifer, let's call her Jennifer, that's not a real name, let's call her Jennifer, Jennifer was standing at the front desk playing on her phone and drinking coffee. So, while we were, we were almost done fixing up this case and it was getting time to leave. So, I looked at Jennifer and I said, Hey Jennifer, um, you could go ahead and get the windows if you would like to. And she didn't let me get my whole sentence out, okay? So basically, before she interrupted me, all I was able to say is, hey, Jennifer, you could get the windows. So she didn't hear if you would like to, and I'll help you once I finish what I'm doing. Because I'm not just going to say, hey, get the windows, you know, I'm going to say if you would like to. That's just how we do things, okay? We work as a team, we operate as a team, because it's just, you just have to in this setting, okay? Okay. Um, so I said you could, and then she interrupted me and she goes, I am so sick of you and Ashley telling me what to do all the time and treating me like I don't know how to do my job and all this stuff. And yeah, and she was like yelling. Okay. It was a yelling voice, but I'm not going to talk that loud right now because I don't want to burst your eardrums, but she's, she's like yelling. Okay. Out on the sales floor, the door was not locked. The door was unlocked, a person could walk in at any point, okay? So she's on the sales floor yelling like this, making herself look like a crazy person when I wasn't even attacking her. She basically came at me for nothing. And so I was just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I looked at Ashley, like we both exchanged a look that was like, what are you doing? Okay, so I turned at her and I was like, no, there's no reason. And I was trying to match her level, but I'm not going to scream, you know? So I was just talking a little bit louder than a normal voice. And I said, no, there's no reason for you to talk to us like that. We were not trying to tell you what to do. I said, if you would have listened and let me finish, I was going to say, if you would like to. Hey, you can get the windows if you would like to, and I'll help you with it once I finish what I'm doing. I'm not, I know full well I'm not the boss of you. Jennifer is older than I am. I would never talk to her that way, even though, you know, I'm not the boss. She's not the boss. I just treat my coworkers with respect, you know? So that whole little explosive incident happened and I was gonna say a lot more, but Ashley kind of held me back and she was like, no, no, just let her dig her own grave, you know? Um, and I'll just go ahead and say, I wanna give you a little bit of background about Jennifer. She is not our best worker. She does not work as much as I do, or she hasn't been. I've been working every single day, okay? I know what I'm doing. Um, I help people, I answer people's questions, I do what I can, me and my coworkers, I mean. I answer coworkers' questions, I help, I do what I can. But during Christmas, I've been busting my butt, okay, up there working super hard, doing everything in my power to make sure that we made a bunch of sales and do all this stuff. So I feel like I've been pulling my weight, Ashley pulls her weight, my other coworker pulls her weight, but Jennifer never seems to know what's going on, even though she's been working there about the same amount of time as me. She never knows what to do. She's always asking me and the other coworkers questions. She's always asking for help. She can't do the simplest tasks by herself. It's like, if you don't ask her 
to do something, she's not going to do it, if you understand what I mean. Like, it, it kind of just slips her mind. I just feel like she doesn't care that much about the job, you know? She doesn't really pay attention or, she's not a good worker. She's really not. And I'm not trying to say that she's a bad person because I don't know that she's a bad person. She seems kind enough most of the time, but she's not a good worker and she kind of snaps over nothing all the time. So, um, you know, I was pretty upset about her snapping at us that way. I didn't think it was appropriate. I didn't think it was professional. So I decided that night after speaking to a couple of my coworkers on the phone, I decided that the next day I would sit down and talk with her about it in one of the offices. So the next day rolls around and we go into work and well let me just okay so we go into work and she had something that she needed to go do right after we opened and finished putting out the jewelry so we were like okay you know jennifer go do whatever you have to do so she clocked out and left for about 15 minutes well i was talking to my other coworker while she was writing down repairs in our record book and i'll also have to explain this process Whenever somebody picks up their repaired item, it comes in a little envelope, okay? So we give them the item, but we keep the envelope and we stick it in a little box underneath the register. And then once that box is full of envelopes of returns that people have picked up, one of us, usually the coworker who is doing it right then, um, she will take the box, look through the record book and cross out the names of people who have picked up their items, which, you know, that's on the envelopes in that box. So when the box is full, she takes it, looks in the record book, crosses out everybody's name who has picked up their item so that we know, hey, they picked up their, return, their repair. And then you file those envelopes under the person's last name. We do this just in case somebody comes in and says, hey, y'all still have my item. I never picked it up. I can't find it, whatever, where's my jewelry? Well, that's why we keep it. In case we need to go back and look up and say, yeah, you did pick this up. We have it written down and crossed out and everything that you picked up your repair. So my coworker was writing down the new repairs in the record book and she was looking through and she said, hey, um, what happened to all of the envelopes that were in the box, like the ones that have been picked up already? And I said, well, you know, Jennifer, while I was at lunch yesterday, Jennifer took it upon herself to um, go through and file them. She said, did she cross them out of the record book? And I said, no, I don't think so. I don't know, I wasn't here. Because this coworker is the one who generally does all of the really important stuff because she's been there the longest. But when she's not there, I'm the one who's supposed to write the new repairs in the record book and file these picked up repairs if they need to be. So I did write in the record book the new repairs, but while I was gone, the previous day, Jennifer filed them, she filed the picked up repairs without crossing them out of the record book. So they're filed, but they're not crossed out. So if we were just looking at the record book, it would appear that those people had never picked up their repairs, but they really had. And so she filed them without crossing them out, which could cause a huge issue in the future if somebody was trying to pull one over on us and say, y'all still have my item, where is it? You know, because if we just looked at the record book, we'd say, oh gosh, they never picked it up. We don't have it. You get the picture. I'm hoping you get the picture. It's really hard to explain when I do it. You know, it's, it's hard to explain when you're used to doing it. So I told her, I said, no, I think Jennifer did that. And she said, well, she didn't cross out the names. Like there's no names crossed out. And I remember these people picking up their repairs. So I was like, yeah, I'm sure that she just didn't do it because frequently she just doesn't do things that you're supposed to do. She does things wrong all the time. So I said, yeah, I'm really not surprised. You know, Jennifer does stuff like that. She always 
does things wrong and doesn't do the right, like I'm not surprised. So when Jennifer came back from running her errand that she had to run, the first thing that my coworker said to her is, hey, Jennifer, did you cross out the names in the record book yesterday when you filed those repairs? And she was like, no, I just forgot. I know how to do it, I just forgot. So my coworker like went through all the steps that you have to do and she's like, yeah, yeah, I know how to do it. I just forgot, it just totally slipped my mind. So I'm like, again, you know, you're not doing stuff right and you're just kind of playing it off like it's no big deal, but it is a big deal. It's kind of a really big deal. I mean, this is something really important. It could cost us a lot of money if somebody came in and we couldn't verify that they picked up their really expensive item that we were supposed to repair. So like you can see this would cost the store money if there was an issue with somebody's repairs. So she had to go back through all of the files and find the ones that she messed up and didn't cross out. So that happened within like 15, 20 minutes of us opening, okay? So, you know, I'm planning on talking to my coworker, Jennifer. And so I go into the office where she's file, she's looking for these uh, repairs that she filed. And I said, hey, Jennifer, when you get through with that, can I talk to you? Well, she was like, oh, well, let's just talk right now. So I said, okay, you know, whatever. So I shut the door behind me because I didn't want this to be a huge embarrassing thing. I was just planning on having a little one-on-one -on -one conversation. No big deal. So basically all I said to her was, hey, I know that you were really upset with Ashley and I yesterday before we left. I just wanted to make sure that you knew that we weren't trying to be ugly or hurt your feelings or anything like that. We were just trying to get the work done so that we could all go home because nobody wants to be here all night long. So, you know, that's just why. And I said, I wasn't trying to tell you what to do. I was just making a suggestion. And if you would have let me finish, I was going to say, hey, Jennifer, you can start getting the windows if you would like to, and I'll help you once I get through doing what I'm doing. I was like, I have never, and I would never tell one of my coworkers what to do. I'm like, it's not like I said, hey, Jennifer, go get those windows right now because I'm the boss of you. That's not what I said. And I would never say that, you know? And I've asked many of my coworkers, like I've asked Ashley, I've asked my other coworkers, everybody i would say hey you could go ahead and get the windows and i'll help you if you would like to if you want i can just do it when i get done doing what i'm doing it's up to you you know i'm not the boss of you and i don't pretend to be so basically i was just explaining that to her basically just how i told you guys and she pretty much freaked out about it and she overreacts about everything and she gets upset about everything she takes everything super personal and like everybody's out to get her which nobody is so she freaked out and she was like well hannah i'll tell you right now i am 50 years old and i know how to do my job and i don't need you or ashley telling me how to do my job so you just you know you don't need to be telling me what to do because i'm 50 years old and i know what my job duties are and I'll tell you, that was the funniest thing to me. I was really trying not to laugh because you know how to do your job duties so well while I'm talking to you and you're currently doing something that you were supposed to do yesterday. You really know your job duties, huh? You're really, really good. But whatever. I just kind of kept saying, well, you know, um, we weren't trying to tell you what to do. And also, I just wanted to say, I thought it was very unprofessional and just inappropriate the way that you raised your voice at Ashley and I because there's no reason for anybody to raise their voice up here. This is a very professional workplace. It's a high-end jewelry store. There's no reason that we should be raising our voices, yelling, anything like that. I said, so I would just appreciate it if you have something that you need to talk to me about or Ashley or any one of us, just come talk to us about it in one of the offices. There's literally so many places that you could talk to us and we don't mind, like we have no issue talking about stuff. 
I just think it's really inappropriate and unprofessional to do it out on the sales floor because the door wasn't locked. A customer could have came in. It could have been a whole big thing. And like, I don't want customers to see an argument or something like that. I just don't think that it's right. So I would just appreciate it if you would talk to us in an office, a private area, something like that, okay? So again, she freaks out. She's totally on the defensive, acting completely erratic while I'm talking to her. And she's like, well, there was no customer in here. I would never talk like that if there was a customer in the store, yada, yada, yada. I'm 50 years old. I know what to do. Don't tell me that I need to talk to you in an office, da, 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 da. And I'm just like, okay, Jennifer. Well, You've yelled at people while there are customers in the store, okay? Customers have said stuff about it, and it's really inappropriate. This is not, you know, Walmart. This is not Waffle House. It's not IHOP. You don't need to yell. There's no reason to yell. This is a high-end establishment, and you're making it look like trash when you yell like that. And she does it all the time. Like she'll yell over to somebody, she'll yell and ask someone else to help her customer. And it's like, that's inappropriate. You should not do that in front of customers. I'm sorry, especially not in this kind of high-end establishment. It's not okay. So me and her went back and forth about it. And I was just like, look, I'm not trying to tell you that your feelings are invalid or whatever if you felt upset about it but look you don't need to yell out there talk to us in an office it's just not cool okay so she was like whatever whatever and i was like okay cool you understand that's fine so i was willing to let it go right there i wasn't going to talk about it again so I walked into another one of the offices and I was talking to my other coworker about how her Christmas was because she wasn't there the day before. She was sick. So I was asking her, you know, did y'all have a good Christmas? How was, you know, your husband's family, all this stuff. So I talked to her for a good 10, 15 minutes. And then I noticed that we got in these magazines. I think they're I don't know what they're called, Jewelry Today or something. There's some kind of magazine that covers current jewelry trends. So we just got a huge stack of them. I grabbed one, I started flipping through it, and I walked back to the office where Jennifer was. And I didn't say anything to her. I just sat down in this chair across the room from her, and I started reading through the magazine. And I wasn't paying attention to her at all. Like, I was over it, whatever, moving on with my day. Well, then she decides to attack me yet again, like she always does, attack and then play the victim. So she turns to me and she said, and another thing, it really pissed me off that you were trying to tell me what to do because I had already told you earlier in the day that Ashley was getting on my nerves because she was telling me what to do. The incident that she is referring to is when I came back from lunch and Ashley was looking and she said, has anybody helped that customer? And I said, oh, I don't know. I just got back from lunch. And she said, oh, well, would, you, would one of y'all mind helping that customer? Because I already have a customer. So I was like, yeah, sure, I don't mind. And Jennifer goes, um, no, I'm going to lunch. You can let Hannah help that customer. And then she walked off and went to lunch. That's what she interpreted as Ashley telling her what to do saying, hey, would one of y'all go help that customer? I said, okay, first of all, Jennifer, I wasn't going to talk about this again. I was just going to let it go because I just don't want to be involved in all of this drama right now. I said, I was going to let it go. But that incident that you're talking about where Ashley told you what to do, she was asking one of us to help a customer who had not yet been helped. And I had just come back from lunch and I didn't know anything about it. I said, so... She wasn't telling you what to do. She was trying to make sure that somebody helped the customer because in case you don't know, that's our job is to help the customer. And of course, I immediately said that I would help because guess what, Jennifer? I like to do my job, okay? I'm going to help a customer who needs help. I don't care if I haven't been to lunch yet, which I had, I had just come back. Even if I hadn't, I would still help the customer, you know, because it's your job. It's literally what you're there to do. So anyway, I said, yeah, 
of course I helped the customer, even though Ashley said to. She was just saying, hey, one of us needs to go help the customer, but she was already with the customer. I said, and second of all, I've already told you, I was not telling you what to do. I was suggesting that you go ahead and get the windows and I was going to help you. I said, I'm not the boss of you and you're not the boss of me. I said, so I'm never telling you what to do. I never say in a commanding voice, Jennifer, go do this. I always say, hey, Jennifer, would you do this? Or, hey, Jennifer, you could do this if you would like to. I have never and will never tell one of my coworkers, because we're on the same level, hey, go do this. No, I always ask them or say if you would like to, you know? I'm never gonna sit there and pretend like I'm the boss because I know full well I am not the boss. The boss is the owner of the store. So I don't really know. So I told her, I said, hey, I would never do that. I'm not sitting here trying to tell people what to do. I said, I've never raised my voice up here. I've never been ugly to anybody. So I don't know why you think it's okay for you to do that to me or Ashley. It's not. It's not cool. And she has a history of doing this to people. She has a history of attacking people and basically then acting like it's her fault. It's not her fault and she's the victim. So I was like, I'm not letting her do this to me. So I said, you know, and she was like, well, I'm 50 years old. I don't need you to tell me what to do. I said, I'll tell you right now, Jennifer, I don't care how old you are. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. If you know what to do, that's great. I said, but I wasn't telling you what to do. Ashley wasn't telling you what to do. We're just trying to get the work done. And she's like, well, I know how to get the work done and all this stuff and yada, yada, yada. And I do a great job up here and you just need to leave me alone. I'm sick of y'all telling me what to do. And I was like, okay, I, I, I'm not telling you what to do. And so she said, well, I'll tell you one thing. Don't ask me to do anything and don't tell me to do anything. And I'm just like thinking in my head, that's what a job is where you work together. Like your coworkers can't ask you to do something. They can't ask you to help them. Okay. And so I looked at her and I said, Jennifer, if I cannot ask you to help me do something, then you don't ask me any more questions. You don't ask me to help you because if I can't ask you to work with me and the other coworkers as a team, then I'm not going to help you when you need help. Okay, which is all of the time, I said, because you ask me a ton of questions, you ask me for help all the time, but God forbid that I ask you to help me do one thing and you lose your mind. God forbid. So she was raising her voice at this point and she's just like, well, you're being ugly to me right now and yada, yada, yada. And I said, stop. I said, I'm not being ugly. I'm telling you that you're not going to talk to me like that. You're not going to talk to Ashley like that. Okay. You're not going to talk to any of us like that. And especially not me. I told her either you can speak to me in a respectful tone and treat me like a normal human Speak to me respectfully, okay? Or you're not gonna speak to me at all. And I don't care either way, okay? Cause I don't wanna talk to you if you're not gonna talk to me in a respectful manner. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I don't care for coworkers. I don't care if you're 50. I don't care if you're 15. It doesn't matter. If you don't talk to me with respect, I'm not going to talk to you and I'm not going to acknowledge you. So either you'll speak to me with respect or you won't speak to me at all. Either way, I'm not going to help you because you won't allow me to ask you questions so that we can work as, as a team, okay? I'm not doing it. And she's just like, you are being so mean right now and you're just being so ugly right now and I, I know how to do my job. And I said, Jennifer, and I'll admit that this is the only snarky thing or potentially ugly thing that could be interpreted of what I said that could be interpreted as ugly, okay? Because I was just sick of hearing her say that she knows what she's doing when she always makes mistakes and doesn't do things correctly and doesn't pay attention. So I said, Jennifer, if you know how to do your job just so well, then why are you currently doing something that you should have done yesterday? Why? Well, that really sent her over the edge and she flipped out. She's like super high pitched. 
loud voice and she was like, that is so mean. I can't believe you would say that. That's so ugly. I don't know why you're talking to me like this. <laughs> and so I just looked at her and I said, stop. I'm done talking to you. You're like talking to a brick wall. You're a lost cause. Goodbye. Do not talk to me anymore. And after that, I went on my lunch break because frankly, I was just too pissed off to even sit there and look at her stupid face any longer. Um, that's just... That's just the way it is. Y'all can say I'm petty. Y'all can say I was being ugly. Whatever you want to say, but point blank period. I'm not going to let somebody talk to me in a disrespectful way um, over a period of time at all. Like, she's been talking to me disrespectfully. She's been raising her voice at me, and I'm sick of it. I don't care if she feels alienated. I don't care if she never helps me with anything again. Because to be honest, even if I needed her help with something, it wouldn't get done correctly. It may not even get done at all. Because like I said, she has no idea what she's doing and she has no idea how to do this job. So the bottom line is, I don't care if she ever speaks to me again. If she does, it'll probably be too soon. So, yeah, I'm not going to let somebody speak to me disrespectfully. I don't care if they're older than me. If you want respect, you have to give respect. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me again today. Leave me a like if you like this video. Comment down below. I know this video was super long, um, but I hope you enjoyed it. And subscribe because I make new videos every Monday and Friday. Thank you guys once again so, so much for joining me today for this long, long story time. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.